Hey everybody, what's up? It's Janelle, uh, back with another edition of 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and everything. Um, my first post was about a loot crate that I get. It's my favorite one called uh, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I recently started getting a loot crate called Marvel Gears and Goods. I got my second issue uh, today, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to talk about some of the things in it. This month's theme is uh, Spider-Man. And there's a rumor out there that there may be a special um, sweatshirt in here. So I'm really excited. So uh, when you order the Loot Crate, um, and all my Loot Crates come from, obviously, LootCrate.com. But when you order the subscription box, they come like this. Uh, the one I got last two months ago was also in a box just like this. Um, a little bit about Loot Crate is you can order uh, a subscription box for filled with pop culture items every month for about 20 bucks. Uh, but I don't like that one because I'm not into all aspects of pop culture. So I invest in a bigger box. It's about $37 and I get that every other month. So I get uh, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I get Marvel uh, Gears and Good. When you open up the Loot Crate box, it has everything in it, but at the bottom is a description of what you got. And then you, this one, and I'm not really familiar with the new Spider-Man uh, universe. I, I don't really follow the comics. I was more of a, the Amazing Spider-Man cartoon in the 90s. But um, your card comes like this. So you get, you can frame this, actually, obviously. But what I got was the Scarlet Spider sleeveless hoodie, the Spider-Man web pack cinch bag, the pen, phone stand, and a poster. So this will tell you everything that you're supposed to get. As well as, there's a card for sweepstakes. An advertisement for the new Spider-Man 4 video game. I don't have a PlayStation 4 right now. Um, I don't really play games that much. But all of my friends and everybody I follow on social media say that that's a really cool game. So shameless plug for that. So the rumors have been confirmed. And we got this really cool sweatshirt. It's a sleeveless hoodie. Looks like this. Now, when you subscribe to any Loot Crate, they ask you what your t-shirt size is. And I told them that I'm a small in men's or medium in girls. Um, depending on where you order, they'll ask you if, what your size is in girls, what your size is in men's. So this is supposed to be a small in men's. And I'll try this on and show you guys what this looks like. All right, guys, so this is what this shirt looks like. And I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, that's good. I'm not a fan of how it fits. Um, I'm a girl, so it kind of cuts in right here. It's um, it's not sewed together. It looks like you would have cut this yourself if it was a sweatshirt that you owned, which I guess is kind of the theme for Scarlet Spider. Um, if you're a girl, you would definitely want to wear something underneath it. I'm kind of a little bit more modest, so I wouldn't want my undergarments to show through. But if you don't care about that, um, it's a good fit. Um, I'm going to probably wear this to the gym, so I'll have, you know, a cami underneath and I'll be fine. But it's, it's comfortable, it's light, it's very cute. Uh, I don't really like the, the cut here, but I understand it's probably something for more cosplayers that want to wear this for the fall conventions. Um, yeah. I got a cool little drawstring bag filled with webs. This is really cool. So it's got... And for those of you that are familiar with the Spider-Man comic book, he's always losing his backpack and he's always sticking things to the wall with webs. So if you look, there's a um, camera and his chemistry notebook, his sneakers. It looks like there's an old Spider-Man costume, maybe? I'm not sure, but the other side is just the regular web print. So that's a cool bag. Um, I have a couple conventions coming up this year so for the fall so this will be definitely a cool bag to carry around get some com compliments on hopefully. So the thing I do like about these Marvel Gears and Good boxes is if you do get a poster they come rolled up like this. Um, the last one I got was the Captain was a Captain Marvel poster which was really pretty. So I'm going to back up so we can see this together. Well, that's awesome. 
That's really awesome. Are they coming out of webs? Yeah, they're coming out of webbing. So there's Venom. There's the classic Spider-Man. There's Scarlet Spider. I think this is $20.99 down here. The only thing is, I don't know if I can find any frames for these. I like to frame my posters um, so that they're flat, but these are really weird sizes, so I'm not sure if I can find anything that I can frame this with. I may be able to get a mat and uh, display it, but if I do that, I'll post that on my social media. It'll be a while before I post that. And then I get a pen. So they like to give us enamel pens. Um, if you order the Loot Crate subscription box, you get a kind of little small pen based upon the theme. I got a Hedwig pen for Harry Potter, uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And then uh, I have this really cool, good sized enamel Spider-Man pen. Now, like I said in my previous post, this, is po this box is usually about $37. So uh, with the t-shirt, the you could probably get this sweatshirt for, if they sold it, uh, $24, $25 conservatively. Um, and then the bag, probably another 12 So with these two items by itself, you kind of break even if you're into that. I like getting um, cool stuff that I wouldn't actually get if I bought individually at the store. Uh, it also kind of curbs my spending habits, so it's great for me. And then the last thing I got was this Spider-Man desk phone holder. And this is really awesome. So I want to grab my phone for this. So it looks like this. And then my phone is kind of large. It's supposed to sit in here like this. And I guess if you didn't have the case on your phone, this would work out. But scratch it. So this actually comes out like this. Oh, and it sits like that. That's pretty cool. And you can sit it sideways. Okay, guys. Well, that's uh, everything that I got for this month's Marvel Gear and Goods. I think this was my second favorite since last month was my first time I got it. And I got the uh, Women Heroes theme, and I really enjoyed that one. But this one is a good follow-up. I'll probably keep up with it and see what we get in the next couple months for November, for December. So that should work out. I look forward to seeing you guys later. If you're interested in subscribing, I'm not sponsored by Loot Crate, but if you're interested in subscribing to Loot Crate, you just go to LootCrate.com. Usually they always have some type of uh, discount or special for new time subscribers. I actually just got a discount on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, so you don't have to be a new subscriber to still get the discounts if you want to renew your subscription for six months or a year. Um, you can do three months too if you want, but that would just be, you know, three boxes over six months. So it's really a six month subscription. If you like what you see and you're interested in following me, just click the subscribe button and the notification tabs. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Um, yeah.